All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all. Today uh, we have a video just about news, and uh, just to inform you, I might be away for a few days, uh, so I will not do live broadcast for the coming few days, and soon we will be back. Uh, I have some work to do. Uh, our news today is about what's happening in Saudi Arabia, and I saw many requests of you asking me to make my comment about what's happening. Uh, you know, uh, all the news is speaking about corruption and etc. But you know, this is the news and this is the the propaganda of uh, uh, you know the corruption. You know, it's very funny that when a corrupt he try to get bust or to, to bust the corrupt, the whole family are corrupt. And who in the world wanna believe that those the corrupt are trying to chase the corrupt? Um, you know, all what's happening in front of us, as we see in the news is just a, a, a game of uh, intimidation. You know, many people do not know the nature of the Arab people, and I am from the Middle East, as you know, and supposedly I'm an Arab too, as they call me. Uh, but, you know, most of people do not know really, they try to compare between what they have in their country and what we have in our countries. Uh, you know, in the Middle East, everything is about intimidation. Who can intimidate who? If you notice when I speak to Muslims, the Muslim try to scream, loud their voice, uh, they try to threat you, try to intimidate you, as simple as that. So even the debate is not really a debate, it's about who can intimidate who. The one who have a more power, he try to intimidate the one who have less power, even though both of them, they can be aggressive and they can be dangerous. Uh, so in the game here, we will notice in the in the previous arrest we heard, uh, in Saudi Arabia lately, that a dozen of princes and all of them from very, very high uh, positions, uh, some of them they are in the charge of the royal guard, the foreign ministers, uh, sorry, the the, the uh, internal minister, etc. So like very important. Uh, additional to that, uh, very uh, uh, high class uh, uh, businessmen who own billions of dollars. Now in front of us we see the prince uh, Walid ibn Talal who own big fortune in Saudi Arabia and in the world, especially in USA, like as an example, uh, Disneyland, he own a lot of it. And he have a big fortune uh, or big part of investment in city land, most of it actually is owned by him. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, this guy is involved with big business around the world. And you know, the funny is, which people don't ask themselves, uh, how come those people arrested in Saudi Arabia for corruption but the Interpol did not arrest them. FBI did not investigate them because you know con corruption for businessmen cannot be limited in one country. There's no way, you know. Uh, as an example, one of the accusations are uh, seen in the news is uh, uh, money laundry. And when you speak about money laundry, we are talking about money is coming from different place, and you'll do wash it in different place to make it uh, clean. Let us say. Uh, so money laundry have to be done in multi countries. So how come FBI, USA, France, England, uh, Australia are not investigating those people? I'm not saying they are not corrupt. I'm saying that even your countries, the one you think they are not corrupt, those people they are buying them, and this is how they protect themselves. They make donations for you know an election time for the president of France for the Prime Minister of Italy, for etc. So they buy their protection wherever they go. And just to show you how stupid the idea or to believe that the Prince or the Crown Prince, which we see him in the screen, he is trying to protect, uh, let us say, to clean the country from the corrupt one. Uh, this, is the, this is the Crown Prince, we see him here, and the top of him is the picture of the Prince Walid ibn Talal. So this is the crown prince and this is the prince Walid. Both they are cousins. However, this one is a, very, a lot uh, younger than this one. And now he is more powerful, this guy, the crown prince, because simply he is the crown prince. And actually he is in charge of what is called investigation. So the funny is, no, not single name of those names who they are arrested in Saudi Arabia, they were charged or uh, under investigation by any other foreign agency. And I assure you, they are corrupt, big deal. But that is telling us that your countries, including the Western countries, are corrupt too. Because how come none of them 
see their corruption and nobody notice that they are corrupt now I want to show you something which is proving my idea that the whole arrest is not about sending them to jail the whole arrest is about intimidation the crown prince is trying to show them his muscles what he can do which mean I can break your bones if you oppose me in me being the coming king so this guy his father is preparing himself to be to announce in him as a as the coming king of Saudi Arabia and there is many names as we see in the screen of those names in the front of us those are very rich powerful men in Saudi Arabia many of them they are from the royal family it's itself which given them the right to be involved in the issue in, in, like an in, indirect way so he is trying to break their bones before they try to do anything against him and the proof of my point is the following if you see where they arrested them you will not believe it let me show you they put them in one of the most fancy hotels in the city of Reda now I don't know how many of you been there uh, but me myself I know this hotel very well this is a very 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 fancy extremely fancy hotel uh, this is a rich carton hotel which is one of the top country you know uh, uh, hotels in the world as we know so they reserve the whole hotel just for those people and supposedly this is their <laughs> a place of arrest I mean <laughs> I mean how nice it is to be in jail like this you know you have a rose rise outside waiting for you and you are living in a palace and supposedly this is where those people will be investigated I mean don't you like to be arrested there for some time guys I'm sure many of you would love it so this is why I say the whole idea of arrest is a joke because if they really want to arrest them they will send them to jail not to a fancy palace where there's a lot of servants and slaves and sex slaves and, and then you this they want to convince us that those people are arrested or to believe in such a such a garbage so so why they put them there why did not take them to jail for very simple reason they agree but they want to show them the, the crown prince he want to show them what he can do immediately now if you try to reserve uh, a room you know in this uh, in this hotel you will see right away it says there is no available room you know why because the whole hotel is shut down do serve the whole hotel uh, for the sake of the investigation you will not be able to find any room for reservation you see it says no rooms rooms available for request requested date even if you change the date doesn't matter really it is it, there is no internet there's no connection if you call the if you call the hotel you can try uh, actually if I have an international you know phone call a phone uh, line I will I will call to show you that it is shut down so they shut down the whole hotel and the purpose supposedly uh, was for sure nobody speak about it but this is where they are I mean <laughs> so so you see it's very easy to know that the whole idea he put them there he gathered them there to make them agree and submit to him and I'm talking about the crown prince he want to show them that I can break your bones anytime and now what he will do a few days from now or a week maybe he will let them go all of them he might be he let the small ones always the small ones they pay the price for anything uh, so what he will do he will let them go but he will keep the cases against them as investigation going on which means there will be an investigation but he will not do anything unless they do themselves something which mean he will blackmail them if you try to move against me I can issue an arrest against you in any country in the world because I am the one who present the authority I can send to USA I can send to England I can send to France and none of them will dare to not arrest you which mean because they will risk their business with Saudi Arabia just to save a stupid prince it doesn't matter how, how, how rich he is 
their business with the country is more important than a business with the Prince Walid who have a 20 billion dollar so he will let them go in few days some of them mostly they will stay and they will go to jail and this is will make him look like a hero he's trying to clean the country but the big thieves they will never be arrested he is just trying to intimidate them and make them be partners with him not to go against him so this is what I believe about what's happening and let us see if what I am saying is what's happening and uh, I apologize I cannot do a live podcast uh, for today or the coming few days I will update you when I am uh, back home or I will be able to do uh, the live broadcast thank you very much for listening don't forget to share and subscribe if you like what we do here this is a Christian Prince and God bless you all and may the Lord open our eyes to be smart and not to be deceived by what they say to us in the news this is not a jail this is a joke thank you and God bless see you